we've got a clip teed up and I don't really know how to seg into it and I don't know how it's going to go, but it's a viral one and oh. I wonder if we can reflect on it. Disguise royal reporter Melanie Robinson. That's right. I'll say it again. This is a great place to get ready for the royal wedding time. In fact, the reaction in the Highlanders region has been a little bit mixed to this wedding stuff. Here in Dunedin, costume stores have totally sold out of tiaras, your bowler hats, your union jack flags, and there'll be parties all over town after this game tonight. But in Wanaka, a pub called The Bullock has absolutely banned all wedding television, and they are only showing the two rugby games tonight, so good on them. I better just check with these guys. Do you guys give a stuff about the wedding tonight? Don't get me wrong, came on top, but she's no Melly Robinson. <laughs> now, what do you reckon uh, Kate and Will's going to get up to on their honeymoon? Oh, uh, can we say it on TV? <laughs> well, it depends. Uh, anal. <laughs> oh. um, okay, that's very inappropriate. What's going to happen in the game tonight? How can the Highlanders beat the Blues? It's going to be a strong game. Highlanders come out on top. It's going to be like a piano, finely tuned. Okay. It's going to be a game of two hearts, but Highlanders will come out venturous. It's going to be awesome! $396! As, as you can see, it's all about the game tonight here. The conditions are perfect. Uh, the ground is a little bit weird underfoot, but that's sweet. <laughs> the, the comment, the anal sex comment, is obviously like grabs your attention, but I think it's the, the reaction from Sumo in the booth afterwards. It yeah. couldn't stop laughing. Like, so good, so yeah. good. Um, our boss at the time, um, Richard Last, uh, maybe about six months later, had gone to the Australian Broadcasting School to speak to them. And as part of that, he'd watched the presentation beforehand and they'd rolled that clip. He told me this, he was hilariously laughing. And in it, after it, they said, now the female reporter behaved extremely professionally. She didn't react. She turned around, she threw to the camera, but the three guys upstairs, <laughs> that is not how you react <laughs> to an interview ever. And Richard was just going, oh, my God, that's my team, you know. It's 100% right, though, isn't it? Like, you've, you've, you've dealt with that immaculately, and it goes back uh, to the three giggling schoolboys upstairs. Uh, but it was very funny. We had – our planes were cancelled. We were there late to the OB. They shortened the build-up to half an hour instead of an hour. I didn't have my friggin' makeup done. I had that hat on. And, you know, I'd worked in telly for quite some time and no one knew anything about me. And then the only thing that goes out is that. <laughs> ah. um, I have met with those guys um, afterwards and, you know, they're still dining out on that. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Did they, who reached out to oh, they, uh, One of the comedy shows, um, Jono and Ben, actually. Um, Jono, yeah, Jono and Ben. Oh, they well, they brought them back after about 10 years. That's so good. Yeah, it was quite good. I, I do wonder about that and I'm not sure the timelines are – quite right but like the internet was kind of in its infancy then yes. so when something goes viral like that on tv how are people seeing it it was youtube so it was, oh, youtube yeah was. so okay. they record it on their phone and popped it up on youtube yeah. okay and it, you know because it was will and kate's honeymoon and they were meant to be coming to new zealand <laughs> yes. and that's why i asked the question but i prepped them i said look that's what i'm gonna ask you don't swear and they said okay we won't swear yeah. So they said that. Oh, and he's like, I'm not, I'm not sure if I can say it. And you're like, oh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Dep <laughs> depends on what it is. 